Just a day after Cyclone Michong made a landfall in southern Bharat, triggering heavy rainfall, it has now weakened into a deep depression over the central coastal Andhra Pradesh, informed the Indian Meteorological Department. The intense winds and torrential rains triggered by the cyclone have resulted in at least 13 deaths. Taking to microblogging platform X, IMG stated that it will take six more hours for the cyclone Michong to weaken further into a depression. Meanwhile, in the subsequent six hours, the cyclone will further into a well-marked low pressure. In Tamil Nadu, on the other hand, incessant rains lashed the capital city of Chennai, bringing the state capital to a standstill, normal life to a halt, and resulting in fatalities and damaging the property. According to Greater Chennai Police Jurisdiction in Chennai, six people have died due to the cyclone. Amid the destruction caused by the cyclone, Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin on Wednesday wrote to Prime Minister Narendra Modi seeking an immediate interim relief fund of Rs 5,060 crores. Furthermore, CM Stalin requested the PM to send a central team to review the damages caused by the cyclone in the state. Notably, before Cyclone Mechong was about to make a landfall in the southern coast, the Andhra Pradesh government issued an alert for eight districts, while in Puducherry, Section 144 was imposed to restrict the movement of the citizens. Home Minister Amit Shah took stock of the situation from Chief Ministers of Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Puducherry. Minister Shah informed that National Disaster Response Force personnel were also deployed to provide assistance to state's security forces. Though Odisha has not been impacted by the natural phenomenon, the government has deployed rescue teams in the state's southern districts as a precautionary measure. Even the coastal and southern district collectors were put on alert and fishermen were advised not to venture into the sea.